So what's good everybody? Welcome back to another assignment. In today's video, we will discuss association analysis. We have already covered the theory part in the previous video. Make sure you check that out. Now in this video, we will see how it is implemented in R. So let's read the overview of the problem given here. Online radio keeps track of everything you play. It uses this information for recommending music you are likely to enjoy and supports focused marketing that sends you advertisements for music you are likely to buy. For illustration, we use a large data set with close to 300,000 records of song slash artist selections made by 15,000 users. So question one says, read in the data, check the structure and convert the user column to factors. So we will first read the data and store it in the variable last fm. Then we can go on checking the structure of the data. Now here structure output is self-explanatory. There are four variables, user, artist, gender and country. Now we will convert the user column to factors. And we already know how to convert it into factors. We will simply use factor function as shown here. Now moving on to the next question that says check number of users, number of artists and number of records. So we will take them one by one. Let's start with number of users. So to check number of users we can simply subset user column using the dollar sign with a data frame and use unique function to filter the unique users because there will be same users listening to different artists so we want only unique values and then simply use length function to find the number of users so we can run this and as you can see we have 15,000 users similarly we can find number of artists so number of artists is coming out to be 1004. Then we can find number of records. So there are 2.89 lakhs or more than 289k records. Now you can understand it's a huge data set. But in reality when we do association analysis, we will use data sets which will be much bigger than this. Now next question says, split the data such that each element contains the artist list of a specific user. So basically it is asking, we need to split the data in such a way that it lists all the artists for a particular user. Now to do this, we can use the split function. So basically what split does is, it divides the data in the vector x into the groups defined by vector f. So if you see here, our vector x is artist and our vector f is user. So split will create a user list according to artist. So we will store this in the variable playlist. So again the explanation for the split function is given here that we have already discussed. Moving to next question. It says remove duplicate artist, if any, and then convert the data into transactions. First we will remove the duplicate values. So we can simply use add apply function here and use the unique function to find unique values and then store it in the variable playlist. We can even use s apply function here. There is no problem in it. Now next part of the question says convert the data into transaction data. So we will install the A rules package that has our mining algorithm. So again I have already done it. So I have put a hashtag sign before the install.packages function and I am directly calling the library. After this we will use the as function then give our playlist as the first argument and mention transaction as the second argument. What this function will do? It will coerce an object to a given class. In our case, it will coerce our playlist to transaction data. 
Now I'm sure you would be wondering what is transaction data. So let's read the explanation given below. First point says transactional data can include but is not limited to purchases, payments, debits and credits, hotel reservations, interest paid and much more. For instance, when a customer walks into a quick service restaurant and orders a burrito, it's likely that he or she will pay with a debit card or a credit card. This information is captured by the bank and recorded as a transaction. Now anyone who has ever checked their bank statement online and seen such transactions listed has witnessed transactional data firsthand. This data is particularly valuable to retailers, restaurants and financial institutions interested in learning more about the customer behavior as it relates to shopping. It helps in identifying clear patterns given in customer behavior. From there, predicting a customer's next move becomes less about guesswork and more about science and big data. Now I hope you have understood what transaction data is. So let's move on to the next step, which says check the summary of our data. So as you can see, the summary is printed here. So here we have 15,000 rows and 1,004 columns. So rows contain the transaction IDs and columns contain the item which are artist. It also has given frequent item list and then item set size is given which is basically transaction ID. Then 5 point summary is there and so on. Now just to have some more idea about the data set we can plot item frequency plot. Although it is not required, but we are doing it to get more insights about the data. So we can plot item frequency plot as shown here. Here if you notice, we have given support is equal to 0.08. Now why 0.08? Because it is given in the question. We can run this and here you can see item frequency plot. Now this shows item frequency based on the criteria that we have mentioned there. We can try different criteria and then we can plot different graphs as well. Now moving to the next question that says create rules using a priori algorithm with support is equal to 0.01 and confidence is equal to 0.45. So here we can simply use a priori function, give the playlist as our first argument then mention the parameter equals to list. Here we can mention support is equal to 0.01 and confidence is equal to 0.45. We can run this and store it in the variable music rules. Now if you see the output, there is a lot of information this a priori is giving us. But instead we will display the associations and transactions in a readable form by using the function inspect. So we can simply use inspect and provide music rules as our first argument. And we can run this and here our results are printed. Now here if you see we have association rules which are easily understandable. We have left hand side which is antecedent and right hand side which is consequent. Now you can go through this. This is a long list. It also gives the support, confidence, lift and count of each rule. So that is how we can interpret the results. Now let's say we are interested in only those rules that has a lift greater than 5. So we can again use the inspect function. And along with inspect, we will use subset function, give music rules as first argument and then mention subset is equal to lift greater than 5. Then close the brackets and we will run this. So it will return only those rules that has a lift greater than 5. You can also see in this table, all the rules have a lift greater than 5. 
Now we'll move to next question. It says plot these rules. Now when it comes to association analysis, there are many plots that can be used for association analysis. However, I will not go into details of each of the plots. Rather, I am attaching a PDF in the description box that has detailed out these plots. And you will also find in the PDF that how you can interpret these plots. You can go through it and learn more about these plots. But right now, we will only use two types of plot. First is the grouped matrix plot and second is the graph. I will explain each one of these one by one. So for these plots, we will first have to install a rules with package. So as I have already installed it, so I am directly calling the library. We can use the plot function. And then within plot function, we will mention subset function. And in the subset function, the first argument would be music rules. The second argument would be the criteria. So here we are saying, we only need those rules that has a confidence greater than 0.6. So I have just randomly selected 0.6 for demonstrating the method. Then we will close the bracket for subset function. And in the plot function, we will mention method is equal to grouped. After this, we will run this. And as you can see, our plot is printed here. Now to interpret this plot, we will go to the explanation section given below. The first point here says, to visualize the grouped matrix plot, we use a balloon plot with antecedent groups as columns and consequence as rows. The color of each balloon represents the aggregated interest measure, which in our case is lift. And the size of the balloon shows the aggregated support. So you can see the size of the balloon shows the aggregated support here. And the color shows the aggregated interest measure, which is lift. Then the second point says, aggregation in groups can be achieved by several aggregation functions. For example, maximum, minimum, average, median. Here the plot is using median to represent the group, since it is robust against outliers. So the number of rules and the most important, that is frequent items in the group are displayed as the labels for the columns, followed by the number of other items in that antecedent group. Furthermore, the columns and rows in the plot are reordered such that the aggregated interest measure is decreasing from top down and from left to right, directing the user to the most interesting group in the top left corner. So balloon represents a group, balloon size represents aggregate support, balloon color represents the aggregated interest measure and they are ordered by aggregated interest measure that is left. Next point says the group which contains the most interesting rules according to left which is the default measure are shown in the leftmost column. So we have already discussed this point. The last point says the most frequent items in the left hand side of the rules in the group, which means antecedent, can be found at the top end of the column. So basically the most frequent item set in the left hand side, that is the antecedent, can be found at the top end of the column. So that is how you interpret a grouped matrix plot. However, one drawback of this plot is that if you try to plot more rules using this plot, then we may lose interpretability. So we will see one more type of plot, that is graphs. Again, we will use the plot function along with subset function. We will mention lift greater than 5 here. Method will be graph here. And here we have mentioned one more argument, which is HTML widget. Now this argument is used to plot the graph in a more interactive way, so that it is less cluttered and can be interpreted easily. So now we can run this and see how our graph is printed. So you can see how interactive this graph is. You can even zoom in, zoom out. 
you can even filter it from here and so on now again an explanation is given here so let's read the explanation and understand the graph first point says items are connected with item sets slash rules using the arrows so here you can see the items are connected with the item sets using the arrows now second point says for rules arrows pointing from items to rule vertices indicate left hand side items that means it is an antecedent and an arrow which is pointing from a root to an item indicates the right hand side that is the consequent then we have interest measures which are typically added to the plot by using color or size of the vertices representing the item sets slash rules again these tend to easily become cluttered and thus are only viable for very small set of rules so these are few basic plots and that is how you interpret them you can dive deeper into these plots by referring to the pdf and learn more about it so all right with this we have come to an end for this assignment as well in this video we started with a fm radio data set and performed basic operations on the data such as finding the number of users number of records number of artists etc then also created a playlist using users after that we converted the playlist into a transaction data and learned what transaction data is then we created rules using a priori algorithm displayed the rules in a readable format using different criteria of support and lifts by using the inspect function and lastly we learned about two plots namely group matrix and graph we also learned some key things for interpreting those graphs so this was all from this assignment guys i'm sure this one assignment cannot do justice with the topic but i hope you have got some fairly good idea about the topic now you can go on internet and practice more on it but the steps involved and the process will remain the same now i'll take your leave and i'll see you in the next video until then have a great day